This video will show one more way that you can insert pictures into points along your pathways. Instead of overlaying the pictures, you can also insert them into the little text boxes. So for instance, if I click on Detroit, I can actually have a picture inside this text box for Detroit as opposed to having to overlay the entire map. So I'm going to control click and get info for this particular text box. And let's say I want to have my image display above this text that I've got written there where it says this is Detroit. So the first thing I need to do is use a little bit of HTML code. Okay, and so I'm going to use the bracket and then IMG for image and SRC for source. And then the equal sign and a quotation mark. I'm going to paste in the link to the image that I want to show. So I found an image online and I took the link for it and I've pasted it in here and then I'm going to bracket that with the quotation marks and then the end bracket clo to close that uh, piece of code okay so it's the bracket looks like a little alligator mouth IMG space SRC for source equals quotation marks and the link quotation marks and then close the bracket alright so then if I click OK now when I click on this, it pops it open and it shows my image and then here's my text. But you'll notice it says uh, this is Detroit is, is starting to wrap around the image and if I want to put some space in there and move my text down so there's some space between my text and my picture, I can do that as well. It's just a little bit more uh, code that I need. So I'm going to control click or right click depending on what you're using on that location. and after this bracket I'm going to put in a line break code okay so again I'm going to open, have a, uh, my little alligator mouth BR and close it and I can also put the same code in front of my sentence this is Detroit okay and then when I say okay now when I click on it you can notice that there's a little bit of space now between the image and the actual text this is another way to add images. It does require a little bit of code and uh, that your images be online so you have a link to them. But what I like about this is that I think it, it presents a, neater, uh, a cleaner and neater view of the content by having the image and the text there together.